Hi folks, it's November the 19th, and you know what that means? Happy World Toilet Day! <laughs> I mean, I know, it's, I know it's controversial to celebrate toilets, given, given the centuries of oppression that they visited upon B-Days. Most African children still don't have a B-Day. Can you believe it? I mean, it's 2015! This is all backed up by statistics, of course. B-Days still process like 77 grams for every Keurig processed by a toilet. <laughs> for the same jobby. And it all ends up in the same sewer system, of course, but the point is one in five college B-Days will experience abuse. Whereas college toilets just... <laughs> they like it, they like being pissed in, it's fine, no, it's fine. Of course, toilets aren't what they used to be. They're not real toilets, if you ask me. Nowadays, if you fill a toilet with a lifetime's worth of shit, they have a habit of suffocating themselves to death or something. There's 13 toilets every day now, in Britain alone. It might be connected with their underperformance in the factory system. But you know, they just need to open up more. <laughs> then we totally won't shit on them. Now, now, obviously, obviously, we don't need to worry about the toilets in Saudi Arabia. I mean, they're obviously well looked after and spotless. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> they have poor toilets in Saudi Arabia as well? Shut fuck off! Yeah, bleeding heart toilets rights activists. All the toilets in the Muslim world are treated like thrones and fountains. Everyone knows that. That's why thousands upon thousands of toilets are being disgorged out of the place. Because they love toilets so fucking much. Needless to say, they hate B-Days. <laughs> In some cases, they remove one of the nozzles. Most people remove that as soon as they move in. <laughs> but it's fine, it can be replaced with a plastic facsimile. <laughs> a lot of women like to complain if you leave the toilet seat up. <laughs> well, guess what you left off? So, pardon the pun, but piss off. Interesting survey we could try. Um, how high is the water line? The, the water mark in your toilet? It's one of the little things I noticed about Canada. Really high water marks. <laughs> like I almost accidentally skinny dipped <laughs> a couple of times. I'm a tall fellow, whatever. Actually, it's only the toilets in Alberta and British Columbia, not the ones in Saskatchewan. The ones in Saskatchewan are much like in Britain, they're very low. Well, I don't know why that is. <laughs> Might be something to do with the time zone differences. I haven't figured that figure it out. <laughs> Shit, the satire. I forgot what I'm sorry. Uh, I just feel like talking sharp about toilets. Actually, I'll leave you with them. Um, with a, with a question that will drive you up the wall, perhaps literally, right? This is a debate that splits the audience right down the middle, like even bigger than, than the GIF versus GIF debate, which isn't even a debate to GIF, clearly. But <laughs> the, the great debate here, right? This. Or this. With, with, with the hanging side. Facing against the wall, or facing towards the wall? What's the right answer? <laughs> and give your reasons. Dance, puppets, dance! <laughs> Goodbye! Piss in my mouth. <laughs> Why did I say that?